Hey guys, where are you? David DeFranco here from GearPop.com. I am very proud to present my Windows P... Wait, 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 hold on. Is this a Windows PC? But wait, I thought because I'm a Mac user, I can't use anything else. That automatically makes me a fanboy. Right? False! Seriously though, this is a Windows computer made by HP. My dad was nice enough to hand this down to me because he recently got a new PC from Dell. I actually love Dell. Well, I don't love Dell, but I, I like Dell. I mean, they make excellent monitors, even though mine died a while back, but that's beside the point. Um, but anyway, my dad got a new PC, like I said, so he doesn't have a use for this one anymore. So he was nice enough to hand this one down to me, so thank you very much, Chad, if you're watching. Uh, so why do I have this? Well, me being the Apple fanboy, not really, uh, what am I going to do with this thing? Well, honestly, I'm going to install Windows 8. But first, before we get into that, let's talk about what I have here. Like I said, HP, uh, it runs an NVIDIA GeForce card. I'm really not sure the exact card. It doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be using it for intense gaming anyway. Maybe my classic games like Red Faction and Unreal and all that stuff. It is running an AMD Athlon 2 processor, which is very interesting because of one main reason. I have never, ever used a computer running AMD. Not that it's really going to make a difference going from Intel to AMD or anything like that in terms of user experience, but still, it's interesting nonetheless. And also, last but not least, this thing is running Windows 7, but like I said, I will be upgrading to Windows 8. More on that in a bit. My dad was also nice enough to give me this. He bought this a while ago, but he never ended up using it. This is a Logitech M525 wireless mouse, and it does come with a uh, unifying receiver. Is that what they call it? Um, yep. Unifying devices supports up to six devices, which is awesome. And apparently this is a uh, three years of battery life. I don't have a keyboard yet dedicated to this, but I might use my old Apple Wire keyboard. That should work. I don't see why not. So between that and the Logitech mouse, I'm all set to go, including a VGA cable. It's pretty cool. I know VGA, but who cares? I don't, I don't need amazing video quality. And of course, I do have a very long power cable, which is obviously required. And finally, I do have this, a little Angry Bird's head. Oh, but wait. It's not just an Angry Bird's head. Guys, isn't that the coolest thing? I just think this is amazing. Like, what if I had, like, secret government files on this and just, like, a SWAT team came raiding my house looking for stuff? I could just put them on a the flash drive, bada-bing, bada-boom, closing the head, and put it on a shelf. You would never even suspect this is a flash drive. Except... Now, thousands of you know, because you're watching this video, but that's beside the point. Seriously though, this thing is about 8 gigabytes, I believe, which should be enough to run Windows 8. Um, so, yes, getting to the point of this video, this computer is running Windows 7, but the main reason I want this computer is to run Windows 8 in a worry-free environment. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, primarily, I don't use Windows as my primary, my primary OS. Obviously, I love OS X. I really don't have any major complaints about it. I've been using it for years, and I just got to say, I switched from Windows for a reason. I was looking for something new. But with that said, I got to be honest, guys, Windows 8 looks very interesting. I know it's mainly a tablet interface. It should be, in a way, in my opinion. But for a free computer and one I'm not going to use every day, why not experiment? Before I continue, let me take a drink. So... I will be using the $40 Windows 8 upgrade if you're not aware. Microsoft will start charging after January 31st $120 for a Windows 8 copy. $120 is a lot of money for an OS, especially nowadays when Apple barely charges, what, $20 for Mountain Lion? It's so freaking cheap. But anyway, um, so now you can get Windows 8 upgrade for $40, and I believe... Uh, at least via the link below that I will post in the video description. Using that resource, you can install Windows 8 Upgrade as a clean install after you format the hard drive. So hopefully, in theory, that should work pretty sweet. And now that's it, guys. I just wanted to introduce you to this PC. I promise I will do a Windows 8 installation video as long as everything goes smoothly. Uh, but I also did want to get your opinions, guys. I mean, I will definitely be installing Windows 8. There's no doubt about that. But I want to ask you, my viewers, what should I do with this PC? Should I use it for, like, you know, a server, like a, like a media server, set up a Minecraft server, which I don't see myself doing that, but, you, hey, you never know. Uh, should I just use it for gaming, or what should I do with it? 
Let me know in the comments below and I will definitely read every single comment. I can promise you that. And now that wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really can't wait to start exploring this thing. I'm actually going to hook it up right now and see what it's capable of. I'm going to format the hard drive first of all and purchase Windows 8 and then go from there. All right, guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget, comment below with your ideas. I'll see you then.